Hi, so today we're going to go ahead and predict the stock market based on four indexes. Let me go ahead and select them. So we have the NSC. On the right, you can actually see the data that we're going to feed it for training first. So that's where the model will learn and understand. So this is about a year's worth of past data that I have of the open, high, low, close, volume, and adjusted close of that index. So we'll take the NSC, we'll take, so these are four, uh, three Indian indexes, the BSC, the MCX, which is the commodities index for India. And lastly, we'll take the prime lending rate since that has some effect on rates and values. So that's the interest rate at which banks lend to each other. And lastly, um, I'll train it. So let's train it from 2015 uh, first Jan to 2016. Let's go up to 28th to Feb 28th. And I go ahead and just move this up and away and start the training. So what you see in the center is the error rate uh, and uh, it started at 0 0.8 but now it's already all the way down to 0 0.05 so the engine is basically crunching all the data and learning from it and adapting to it now I'm running this on a simple laptop and uh, we're going to stop the training now and go ahead and save it so ideally we would run such a training and I'll save the model that I just created on the desktop. So model, ideally we would run something like this for a period of let's say 24 hours on a good strong high end server. So I'll select the model again and I'll select the prediction dates. So let's say I want to predict from 2016 first Jan and we'll give it some data we've not seen so let's say maybe up till 16 17th March and so I've given the data up to that go ahead and predict it and go ahead and export it so model if I go back to my desktop it will have created this model file to right here Now in a live deployment, what we typically do is run something that is uh, doing all of this automatically, but for demo purposes, I've actually gone ahead and created uh, this manually. Insert a chart. And here we have it. It's uh, the orange line is the predicted line, whereas the blue line uh, on this graph is the actual value of the of the index and you can see it comes fairly close to predicting values uh, even though the training set that you're given is is fairly small so even between unseen data that is from first march to third march we only have differences of 30 points sometimes only 18 points in terms of accuracy this can go up um, so this was for the NSC index. If I take the MCX index, let's see how well the system has learned on that. There we go. Again, fairly accurate on the commodities index as well. And a strong recommendation part.